unfortunate, uh, unfortunate, sad little update. For those of you that follow me, spoiler, the three fish that I gave to Jenny, well, I had brought all of my babies basically to Mike at Southwest Koi. So all I had left were my keeper babies. And so I actually brought my keeper babies for Jenny to pick from. And unfortunately, when she got them home and she quarantined them for about five days and then she did a scale scrape and I wish I knew how to do that. I ordered a microscope, I tried to play around with it, but I suck at that. But she did find a couple parasites and they were a kind that is in a lot of systems like flukes and they don't really do an issue unless a fish is immune compromised. And so she started treating them and I'm not sure if it came from my system. I asked her about which microscope she uses. I don't really think and neither does she because I treat twice yearly prophylactically. And if you watch my walkthrough video of the pet store, they brought in a lot of new goldfish for this. And we found lice on one fish. I found hole in the head. There were issues with the goldfish in the pet store and that we know of. And what we both, when we went through the footage, we remembered is the pet store guy hand bagged and hand gathered the water for all the fish. So when he was dunking his hands in and stuff like that, and, and that, you know, that very well, because there was only one or two. It's not like the fish were infested. So regardless of I, my whole system's on quarantine right now with the new fish that I got anyways, which I'm fighting lice and hole in the head. That's the issue I'm fighting right now in my Southwest Koi, Minnesota Koi show ones. And then, so I'm going to, you know, everybody's getting treated right now. And then hopefully I can get a microscope and make sure that I don't have this in my system. Neither she nor I think it was in my system. We think it was, you know, this, the pet store contaminants from there. But she started treating them with Proform C, which is formalin. And that's what I use prophylactically twice a year. And the problem with formalin is if it's not stored in a dark cold place it turns into formaldehyde and turns out really toxic and i actually killed an entire stock tank of fish because i didn't realize my stuff from the year before that i used for my prophylactic treatment being stored in the sun had turned it in completely toxic and turned it into formaldehyde so i emailed her to see if it was a brand new bottle of proform c or one that possibly couldn't have been stored in cool dark but regardless all three fish died and I don't blame Jenny at all crap happens I mean look at my demikins you know, she was trying to protect her fish room and medications are harsh look at you know I lost probably four of my fish and a handful of babies when I tried using what was those tablets I tried using I'm not sure what medication it was. It was supposed to be a three day blue tab treatment and in my one stock tank, it killed off a bunch of babies and a couple of adults. Medications are harsh for not only fish, but people. And it just, it sucks. I was really looking forward to watching these fish grow on Jenny's page. I'm such a fan of hers. And these, you know, these were my keeper babies. So it kind of sucks even a little more, but it happens and, and so going forward I don't know what there is going forward you know maybe next year I'm gonna I'm quarantining all of my tanks treating all of my tanks especially my southwest koi ones now as for my southwest koi ones I know I had lice I know one of my arandas has hole in the head I tried to get a good clip of that. It's really hard unless I held him down and took pictures and I don't want to stress him out like that. He's got his when is splitting open and you can see redness under it. Classic hole in the head in Aranda's. Do Am I upset with Mike? No. And you can get contaminants from anywhere. Any outside, just them being outside, bird poop, pooping in your ponds, you know, Pet stores have them, imports have them, and like 
and his he gets imports and his prices reflect that he doesn't have time to sit on them that long his big orchid arandas i have seen those selling for like three or four hundred mike was selling them for a hundred dollars his plate size ryukins that he was asking a hundred and fifty dollars for i've seen i have I've never even seen ones that big sold, and if they were, they would probably easily be four or five hundred dollars. The the prices he charges to me are crazy. I've gotten hand sized butterflies for fifty bucks from him, and I would have paid a hundred and fifty dollars from Goldfish.net or Dandy Arandas. So, and I still getting those fish. Dandy Arandas, he quarantines his fish for like four weeks, treats them, makes sure that everybody's clear. I still quarantine his fish. Do I as harshly treat them? No. But other places, I would put them through the same amount of treatments regardless of the price. So I'm not upset because they were imports. I expect them to be carrying stuff. And that's just what I'm dealing with. So I, I'm quarantining my whole fish room, treating my whole fish room. I did, and we'll be making sure everybody's clear before I start breeding around October or November. So it just sucks so sad update spoiler I guess you know I'm not sure when Jenny's gonna release a video on it but it is what it is uh, if I hear back from her about her pro form C because all three of them died like overnight I'm pretty sure it was the medication in some way that she had in the water so, and it happens to the absolute best of us.